Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that a variable complex number z is such that amplitude of 2z plus 3 whole upon z minus 1 is always equal to pi by 4. Illustrate the locus of z in argon plane. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know our result. And that is an amplitude of the complex number z which is equal to a plus b iota is an angle theta with initial side the positive x-axis and terminal side the way from the origin containing a plus b iota. Thus, theta is equal to amplitude of z which is equal to tan inverse modulus of b by a. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now it is given that z is a variable complex number and also it is given the amplitude of this is always equal to pi by 4. Now let z is equal to x plus y iota then 2z plus 3 whole upon z minus 1 will be equal to now putting the value of z here it will be 2 into x plus y iota the whole plus 3 whole upon x plus y iota the whole minus 1 which is equal to 2x plus 3 the whole plus 2y iota whole upon x minus 1 the whole plus y iota. Now rationalizing this expression we get 2x plus 3 the whole plus 2y iota whole upon x minus 1 the whole plus y iota. Now for rationalizing this expression we will multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of this. So multiplying the numerator and denominator by x minus 1 the whole minus y iota over x minus 1 the whole minus y iota. So this is equal to 2x plus 3 the whole plus 2y iota the whole into x minus 1 the whole minus y iota the whole whole upon x minus 1 the whole plus y iota the whole into x minus 1 the whole minus y iota the whole. So this will be equal to 2x plus 3 the whole into x minus 1 the whole plus 2x plus 3 the whole into minus y iota plus 2y iota into x minus 1 the whole the whole plus 2y iota into minus y iota whole upon 
And here in the denominator, we will use the formula of a plus b the whole into a minus b the whole, which is equal to a square minus b square. And here a is x minus 1 and b is y iota. So this will be equal to x minus 1 whole square minus y iota whole square. Now on multiplying this, it will be equal to 2x square minus 2x plus 3x minus 3 plus by taking iota common, it will be iota into minus 2xy minus 3y plus 2xy minus 2y the whole minus 2y square iota square full upon x minus 1 whole square minus y square iota square. Now this is equal to 2x square plus x minus 3 plus iota into now these terms are cancelled with each other so it will be minus 5y here and here Iota square is minus 1 and minus into minus is plus. So it will be plus 2y square as Iota square is equal to minus 1. Whole upon x minus 1 whole square and here also Iota square is minus 1 and minus into minus is plus. So it will be plus y square. So this is equal to 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 minus 5y iota whole upon x minus 1 whole square plus y square. Therefore, 2z plus 3 whole upon z minus 1 is equal to 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 the whole whole upon x minus 1 whole square plus y square minus 5y iota whole upon x minus 1 whole square plus y square. Now it is given that the amplitude of this is always equal to pi by 4. Now using the result which is given in the key idea, amplitude of 2z plus 3 whole upon z minus 1 is equal to tan inverse modulus of b by a which is equal to theta. Also it is given that the amplitude of 2z plus 3 whole upon z minus 1 is equal to pi by 4. So this implies tan inverse modulus of b by a is equal to pi by 4. Now this is A and this is B. Putting these values here, this implies tan inverse modulus of minus 5y whole upon x minus 1 whole square plus y square whole upon 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 whole upon x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to pi by 4. Now on solving and taking the modulus, this implies 5y over 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 is equal to tan pi by 4. Now this implies 5y over 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 is equal to, now 10 pi by 4 is 1. Now cross multiplying this implies 5y is equal to 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 3 which further implies 2x square plus 2y square plus x minus 5y 
minus 3 is equal to 0. Now dividing 3 out by 2, this implies x square plus y square plus 1 by 2x minus 5 by 2y minus 3 by 2 is equal to 0. Now this is the equation of the circle. Now we know that the general equation of the circle is this, where the coordinates of center are minus g minus f and the radius is equal to square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now comparing this equation with the general equation of the circle, here 2g is equal to 1 by 2 and 2f is equal to minus 5 by 2 which implies g is equal to 1 by 4 and f is equal to minus 5 by 4. Therefore, the coordinates of center are minus 1 by 4 and minus of minus 5 by 4 will be 5 by 4, which is further equal to minus 0 0.25 and 1.25. And radius of this circle is square root of g square plus f square minus c, which of solving is equal to 5 root 2 by 4 units. So the radius of this circle is equal to 5 root 2 by 4, which is equal to 1.76 which is equal to 1.8 units approximately. So this is the locus of Z which is the circle with center minus 0 0.25, 1.25 and radius 1.8 units approximately. Now we have to instruct the locus of Z in Arden plane. So this is the locus of Z, which is a circle with center minus 0 0.25, 1.25 and radius 1.8 units approximately. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.